Hi, I'm Patrick Dudemeister, and uh, you're watching Zoink TV. Uh, this is a quick video on how to make a simple barrel in 3ds Max. It just uh, goes over the basic techniques that you'll need to know. Okay, so if you open up 3ds Max, this is what it'll look like. Uh, if you're new to Max, which you should be if you're watching a video like this, um, you've got these three, these four windows. So I, what I like to do is press Alt and W, and you just you just got the one. Uh, it's a lot easier to navigate this way. Um, as that's just ridiculous. So yeah, uh, if you want to rotate or anything, you can always use this cube. If you want to go to front view, just double click front. You can rotate to the left. It's just a lot easier. Uh, also, there's keyboard shortcuts. So if you press F, you go to the front view. I also like to take off the uh, grid because it's a bit annoying. So press G, uh, and you're just left with a empty space. Okay, so now to get started. Uh, if you press the T key on the keyboard, uh, you go to the top view. You can also, you know, it says up here, so you know what view you're in. So, uh, yeah, so if you click on the create, you can go to a cylinder and just drag it out and then once you've done it once that's just for the width so now you need to do the height if you click again that'll be the height so if you press F now you go to the front view again and you can move it up and down and just however big you want it really I think about there will do it's only going to be a rough barrel so let's try and keep it quick so press F again so you're at the front um, okay so that should be alright looks alright so if you go to the modifier uh, here we have the modifier list you click on here this is all the different modifiers you can put on there's some really complex stuff but if you just add an edit poly then you can go to polygon down here now polygon will select any sort of polygon on the mod model so all these squares they're all polygons or oh, the circle here that's polygon so if you click on the top one and the bottom one uh, if you hold control and click the bottom one then you select both so to start with go on the right here go on inset and click on the settings this will bring this little window up and just drag it up so that about there will do that's not bad uh, right so now go back over here and click on the extrude settings and then drag it down so that will create a little little groove out of it and then um, because you've got both sides selected it'll do it to both so click the tick and that's done okay so what I'd also like to do is click on the line selection and click on double click on the line here uh, that'll if you click on it once it'll just select the one if you double click on them it'll select all of them so again go to the bottom hold control double click again so you've got both of them selected uh, what I'd like to do here is maybe add a chamfer see what that looks like yeah so that just basically gets rid of that edge uh, if you go to this one uh, and move it up you can have add in more segments to it I'll zoom in so you can have a little better look um, that can just make it more round uh, obviously it adds more poly so y you can add more if you want um, it's just it's just a practice so uh, but then move to here and move it up and that'll move move those out so there you've got an, a nicer rounded edge okay so click on the edge tool it's just deselect now you can have a look at it click F to go to front view here we have uh, so click the barrel again uh, what I like to do here is click the vertex on the right here and just drag and select no no I drag and select these ones 
just the middle middle two lines but it's just the vertexes that you want so they're the blue dots that are all over it uh, with these selected go to scale which is just up here click that uh, and then on the yellow the on the right angle yellow bit you can just uh, hold your mouse down and drag it up or down that'll uh, scale it out or scale it in just whatever you want really uh, for this I'd do it to about here and then click off it and then I'd go to these ones and then hold control and select these ones as well and then move these out to about there will do so click off that and there we now we've got a bit of a barrel going on a bit simple um, so what I'd like to do here is we need some rings or something that go around it uh, so if it's a wooden barrel it could be metal rings you know holding it together just make it a bit more interesting um, so I'd like to go to swift loops just up here click that and then now you can add in loops wherever you want uh, don't do that that's just an example uh, as you see look there's l different loops so you can add in more polys so I'm gonna hold control and Z press that that'll delete those that I've ad added in so go back to swift loops uh, right so I'll add one in about here so that this bit here will be one ring um, I'll add another one about here and then another one actually no I won't add that one in I'll go one there and one there for now and then one there and one one there that'll do so if you right mouse click off it that'll get rid of the swift loop uh, go back to polygon just on the right here so now now you've got these these rings if you click on one polygon and hold the shift key click on anyone that's uh, say if you click on one below it'll select all those if you click on one next to it while you're holding shift it'll select all the ring so what I'll go now is extrude on the right to so click on settings uh, as you see it's gone a bit weird so if you click on this little down arrow here go back local normals that's a bit better but uh, obviously it's it's uh, extruded inwards so if you just move that out a bit till you're happy with it maybe about about there it'll do and then you can click off that onto another poly so this will be another ring again hold down the shift key and click on the one next to it if you click the extrude settings it'll remember the last one you did so that'll be exactly the same as that one so if you just click the tick that'll be fine so again uh, hold down shift and click so you select them all extrude click tick another one shift click select them all and settings there you go and there we have a simple barrel uh, I want to change the colour by clicking on this here uh, this is just the basic colour just so you can maybe get a better idea of how it's gonna look if it goes off like that uh, it's because you've got nothing selected uh, you can just press F again to get back to the front view uh, and there we have a simple barrel very basic uh, now if you want to go into more detail with it once you've got your barrel you can add a turbo smooth which if you go to the modifier list here click on there press the T key that'll just take you down to the ones begin with T and click on turbo smooth now turbo smooth just adds in a lot more polys to what you've got so it just smooths it over um, you can add more iterations so it adds even more but uh, if you just add add two for now and then click off it 
as you can see the barrel's gone really weird looking it's just it's not how it should be so if you click back on it click on this little light bulb here and that'll the turbo smooth still on it's just not visible so you can click back on edit poly and this will bring back up uh, these uh, selection tools so what you have to do here is you have to add in edge edge control uh, loops so if you go back to swift loop uh, you can click say here and here um, and now click back on the turbo smooth as you can see it's it's controlled the edge so it doesn't just uh, make it all really round you've got a nice a nice smooth uh, edge like it should be uh, what you can do here is because you've got bits that are wood and bits that are metal um, the tighter the the closer the edges that you've that you put in uh, the the more sharp the edge would be so for example that one's this one's quite loose so if you keep that loose because it's wood but then this bit's metal so you can make it in really close and then if you click on the light bulb again so that if as you, as you can see that edge there is a lot sharper than that edge so yeah the closer the uh, control loops are to the are to each other the tighter the um, the edge will be so what you have to do here is just go back on edit poly uh, swift loop again you're gonna have to do that for all these different bits where it's gonna join so one there one there one here and one here one here one here there and there there and there for now I'm just putting them in uh, just roughly just to get an idea of how it'll look um, make sure you've got uh, one one on each side and uh, so like I've got one there one there and then that'll control each side of that that bit that joins so click another one here another one here one there and one there one there there we go and that should be that should be all right so now the moment of truth if you click back on the little light bulb that's added the turbo smooth if you click off there so you can have a better look there you go there's a nice smooth barrel uh, this is very high poly so if it was in a game you wouldn't want it that high poly you'd have to you wouldn't have a turbo smooth on it in a game because this would just it take up too much memory um, but yeah for if you're just trying to make a portfolio piece or something there you go just a quick barrel um, then you'd have to go on and texture it uh, so yeah you've been watching Zoink TV thanks for watching uh, post any questions you have in the comments and we'll try our best to answer